away and will join us shortly. So meanwhile, we have with us in first place after the short program representing Belgium, Luna Hendricks. Ah, there's Maya, perfect. And in second place uh, from Russia, Maya Kremich. And in third place also from Russia, Anna Kervakova. And we will start us off by asking everybody an opening question, and then we will turn the question to the floor. And then if there are further questions, we have also some online media attending. So, Lona, uh, congratulations not only for winning the program today, but also for your birthday today. So, how is, was it for you? I've asked it before, but now maybe for everybody. How was it to skate on your birthday and to present yourself with a personal best score? Um, it, well, it, it felt strange because... The microphone. Mic yeah, tap on, tap on it, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it felt like a little bit more pressure than uh, normally because I wanted to skate clean and uh, also to enjoy my day. And um, yeah, if I skated clean, then I could enjoy my day. Um, and I'm really surprised by the result now uh, because I really look up to those Russian girls next to me. And uh, yeah. I couldn't be happier. Thank you very much. Now, Maya is competing in her very first ISU senior level Grand Prix and uh, also had a very strong performance today. How do you feel about your performance and how was it like to skate in your first senior Grand Prix? Вопрос понятен, да? Ну да, это что, как ты оценил свое выступление и как ты себя чувствовала, что первый раз вышла на взрослый экран? Mm -hmm. Where do we switch this on? It says push. Yeah, I think this is a different one. It's yeah. not. There is nothing to push. It should be open. It should be open. Let's try. Работает? Нет. А вот тот На давай мой. Я очень рада, что сегодня получилось кота чисто. Ощущения были немного смутные. Я еще не до конца поняла. Микрофон. Um, well, I'm very happy that I was able to skate clean today. Um, um, I have mixed feelings right now. I think I haven't really understood yet. Okay, and Anya? Anya, so you compete in your first Grand Prix this season. How, um, not everything went as you had planned today. So how did you feel? What do you think was the problem today for you? First of all, happy birthday to you. <laughs> And then uh, about my performance, uh, I'm not satisfied with my performance, of course, because uh, I did uh, a big mistake on the most valuable jump in my program. Uh, I didn't um, do such mistakes in my practice. Uh, everything was fine. So I think that that was not technical problem. That was problem in my head. Uh, I was um, Every time I'm nervous, but uh, this time I was thinking so much. But when you do um, the combo with a triple loop, you don't have time to think. You need just do it. Uh, so today I was thinking so much. <laughs> now we have uh, questions. And please raise your hand if you have a question. And we will get the microphone to you. Is there a question from the floor? Yes, please over there. Anna, how is it? How is it to enter this Olympic season as a world champion? You talked about nerves. Uh, does it give? Uh, it instills more pressure, or you, on you, or it gives you more confidence? How is it? Mm, I think that um, last season, of course, uh, it w I was so proud. Uh, at the end of the season, it uh, it gave me more confidence. I think, but this season, I start uh, with a. Uh, I don't think about uh, what was th the previous season, so uh, everything is new, new season, new competitions, and it doesn't matter what was before. So it don't give me more nervous or more confidence, I think. <laughs> yes. Next question, Nick. S switch on the microphone, please. Yeah. 
Testing. Okay, Hi. yeah, good. Uh, Lona, uh, happy birthday. You. Uh, you said you were surprised by your result, but can you tell us about your preparation coming into the Grand Prix and how you've been feeling? You showed such a great performance at Worlds last year, and how you feel like, I know we're just in the short program, but you showed us, I think, your potential today and how you're trying to carry that consistency throughout the Olympic season. Thanks. Um, so my... Uh yeah, this summer I could train a whole summer because uh, 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 last year I had like a lot of injuries, so I was happy I could train a whole summer and uh, just training like every day and uh, it makes me feel like uh, I could do it and I was like really confident about myself uh, to complete the short program today, uh, but tomorrow is a new day and uh, everything can change, uh, everything can happen and we uh, keep the motivation and keep uh, our heads strong and hopefully um, I can perform as well tomorrow. Okay, next question. Konstantin. Uh, first of all, happy birthday to Luna, but uh, I have a question uh, to Maya. Maya, uh, in internet uh, is a phrase that is called Maya Mojit. И э, уже все это пишут, часто говорят. Э, вообще, можете сказать, как она появилась вообще впервые? И как вы к ней относитесь, можно сказать, что это стало э, вашим девизом неким? Если мне не изменяет память, я первый раз слышала это на соревнованиях на финале Кубка России после проката произвольной программы. Терри Герлин сказала, что Майя может... Вот. Она еще в Инстаграм выкладывала в начале видео и писала моему. Вот, вот, ну вот, то, что я написала. Вот, ну и после этого как-то пошло. Все начали говорить. И это как-то девиз сейчас того и может быть, это и девиз, я не знаю. Говорят и говорят. Uh, okay, the question was about that in the internet there was a you know, phrase has come up, uh, Maya can do it, um, and if this is, how this has influenced her, and um, if it's now her motto, and she said that, uh, first of all, uh, the first time I heard that at the Russian Cup uh, final, and it, Terry Gergen, the coach, was saying it, uh, Maya can do it, and uh, then after that, yeah, it was in the internet as a hashtag with it, and maybe, yeah, it's kind of my motto now. Next question. Uh, Tanya. Uh, it was Anna and Maya. You competed here two years, two years ago in Grand Prix final. Can you compare, compare the competitions? Certainly, it's quite often the championship of the world, but now that we're going to see the final competition. In the final, the final yeah, Maya was did not take part in the junior final. Можно на русском ответить? Можно. Я прекрасно помню, как я выступала здесь на финале Гран-при и как раз вчера думала о том, что часто и на льду во время тренировок вспоминаю свои ощущения тогда, сравниваю с тем, что сейчас. И понимаю, что, наверное, сильно изменилось, э, стала в чем-то увереннее и привыкла больше к международным соревнованиям, э, потому что тогда все как-то для меня было в новинку. В, в, немного я так больше, наверное, нервничала даже на обычных тренировках. Э, сейчас уже как-то все спокойнее проходит. Э, ну и в целом, постоянно, когда ходишь по коридорам, это за разминочная зона, раздевалки, ледовая арена, все кажется уже знакомым и приятно вспоминать какие-то моменты из I remember very well the uh, Grand Prix final here and uh, just uh, yesterday I was thinking about it, uh, compare my feelings back then and now and uh, 
It, uh, and by now I think I have really changed a lot. Uh, I'm much more used to international competitions. I feel more confident. Even in practice I was more nervous then. And when I walk around the arena, the, the, the hallways and the warm-up area, and the ring itself, the dressing room, everything is very familiar already and that feels very nice. Еще один вопрос к Ане. Аня уже ну, частично ответили э, на английском про ваш каскад сегодняшний. Как вообще это э, технически выглядело? То есть э, э, что было у вас в голове, когда, когда вы прыгали, и почему решили прыгать не э, Ридберги, а Атулу? Что, что случилось? Как мне говорила Тарик Георгиевна, и до проката, и после проката эту ошибку сказала, что Просто слишком много думаю, что этот каскад настолько отработан в тренировках, что я могу его сделать из любого неудобного положения, и на соревнованиях просто нужно меньше переживать. Я сделала его множество раз и на разминке, и перед прокатом. То есть пронесло, что надо идти и делать. Я, наверное, слишком много думала о том, как сделать лучше. Может быть, хотела сделать там, выше своих сил. Вот. Прыгнул двойной тулуп просто, чтобы не остаться без каскада. То есть хотел, естественно, Ридбергер. Неудачное было приземление, Ридбергер не получился. И в последний момент просто, чтобы не получилась большая потеря баллов, добавила двойной тулуп. Но это уже как-то, естественно, не было времени думать особо. Uh, answer. Um, Terry Gorgerman, coach, told me that I was just thinking too much, overthinking it, because this jump combination is something I've done uh, so many times in practice, and, and I've done it in my warm up, and it's uh, I just can should go and do it without thinking, and maybe I was just overthinking it, trying to think how to make it even better. And I did the double toe because, uh, so at least I had a combination, the landing was not good enough and then the loop wouldn't have worked out and in order not to lose too many points, I decided, I did a double toe. Thank you. Um, is there more question? Ah, oh, Nick. Uh, this question is for Anna. Uh, you're talking a little bit about the nerves and pressure coming in having won Worlds last year. But there's also so many talented young Russian skaters, yourself included. Do you feel like a leader among the young women, or how do you feel like your role is on the ice this season? Thanks. Um, yes, it's true. In Russia, we have in Russia we have uh, so many uh, skaters, uh, very high level. So um, every year, every competition, you need again to show your um, your place. Uh, uh, you don't um, uh, so every competition it's like uh, you need to show your place you can't think that I'm already leader so I am this uh, I'm on the same place with everyone and every competition we will show uh, who is first and uh, other uh, I guess we would have time for one or two more questions please Question to Lena. Um, you already have an Olympic uh, Games under your belt. Uh, what kind of lesson, what kind of experience can you take with you from uh, Pyeongchang to Beijing? Um, I think to enjoy it more because uh, the first time I was there and I was really nervous and I was just focusing on um, doing my thing and and I didn't look around, so I think uh, the next Olympics I will um, enjoy it more and um, yeah, have the whole Olympic uh, um, aspect or the yeah, or the whole Olympic thing. Uh, we have one question from the online media, Sarah, please. Not here. Oh, not oh. half here. It's half here. <laughs> okay, um, because we we don't have so much. Nick, okay, do you have one more question? Then we take your question, the online question, and then that's it. Luna, most importantly, how are you going to celebrate your birthday? <laughs> um, just reading the messages I, uh, I, um, I got, and 
focusing on tomorrow's program and uh, I will celebrate when I'm home. Okay. <laughs> um, not today, no. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, that question apparently has disappeared. So thank you very much, and uh, we will uh, wish you good luck for tomorrow, and we will wrap this up with a group photo of the three of you. Thank you.